My name's Andrew, and when I'm not hiking in the wilderness with the rest of the crew, I'm pursuing my other passion in life, Kung Fu. Before we all went to Japan to hike, I had the chance to travel to Hong Kong, the place where Bruce Lee grew up, and a city whose urban environment seems to blend with the nature all around it. We hiked through the jungle, visited remote mountain monasteries and temples in the countryside, traveled across the seas to remote islands, and ate some delicious food. And in between, we explored the city and did a lot of Kung Fu. So join me right now as I take you along on one of the many days we spent here in Hong Kong. It is Wednesday morning and there are lots of fancy cars on the street for some reason. I again stayed up way too late, so I'm very tired, but luckily today we have a long break. How's it going? How's your night? <laughs> Finished early. Uh, smart. I stayed up way too late. Editing? Yeah. At least you didn't stay out. <laughs> That's true. Wait, how late did you stay out last night? I think I went to sleep around 3.30 a.m. Got okay. up at 7.30. Feel oh, great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in that how same are, yeah. range of sleep. <laughs> Except I was stupid and I actually could have slept earlier. And now we're gonna go on a hike. Yeah. <laughs> Today I think we're doing a hike to the monastery that was featured at the beginning of Enter the Dragon, where Bruce Lee was talking about pointing the finger to the moon and all that. And uh, I think it's quite a bit of a steep hike, but it's also a long train ride. I did put on my hiking boots today just in case. I'm much more comfortable. We've got a lot more cushioning on the soles, which is going to be pretty helpful, I think. Thankfully, this train has tons of chairs available. <laughs> He's a bit of a freak of nature. All buildings in the distance are actually mainland China. I don't know what else to say about that, but that's pretty cool. Tori cities have brand new malls, apartments, restaurants, and in many ways, it's actually getting nicer to be up here than to be in the normal, you know, Kowloon or Hong Kong Island side of things. And that part of Enter the Dragon, this was like a hike for them because there was no MTR back then. They had to get like in the van or something and drive all the way up here just to shoot that scene. So apparently Kowloon, where we're staying, is actually pronounced something along the lines of Gaolong, Gaolong. I don't know the tones. Gao means nine, Long means dragon. So the reason is uh, there's like nine prominent hills and they kind of look like the back of a dragon. And those mountains kind of divide the main part of Hong Kong from what's called the New Territories, which is a more rural region, or at least it used to be much more rural. So apparently it's gonna be a 25 minute hike and the last 10 minutes are pretty vertical. So we will see how this goes on four hours of sleep in the hot baking sun. It at least doesn't feel super humid right now. I think by the time I get to the top, I'll be soaking wet with sweat though. appropriate shirt for today? Of course. <laughs> I think those trees might have been longan trees. Longan is like a, it means dragon eye fruit. It's kind of similar to a lychee, but smaller. Very delicious though, longan. I guess in uh, Mandarin it would be longnian, except I don't know what the tones are. All right, looks like this is the start of the hike. Right now it's just a paved road, but it's a decent uphill incline. Hopefully all of my years of hiking have prepared me for this. There's some papaya trees growing over here with some young papaya fruits on them. This is pretty steep so far. How's the backwards walking work? Better for my calf. The giant calves that you have? Yeah. Let's try the backwards walking. Oh no, my quads are... I feel my quads engaging and I'm like, I did too much horse stance. <laughs> I'm turning back around. 
I'm just glad I'm not carrying a 25 pound backpack. As a hiking YouTuber, I have to flex on everyone and hike, hike faster. I can't let myself be put to shame by anyone else. I do this for a living, damn it. Oh no, you bastard. I use my C4, let him have that one. I don't know about that. It's just who's more of an idiot. We're all born knowing life. It is defeat you must prepare for now. <laughs> Every time I hike up a steep mountain trail or a steep path in China or Japan, there's always some old dude smoking a cigarette that's just going twice my speed. <laughs> I don't know how that works. <laughs> All right, the road has flattened out temporarily for about like 10 feet. Wait, are we here already? Yeah. Oh, that wasn't that bad. I actually was worried it would be longer. Okay, that's good. The smell of incense is very present in that little entranceway. There's another shrine over here. Not sure who it's for though. Those little solar-powered sunflowers are playing music up this path. Just real quick, this is a monastery, which means that the monks still live here, which is why you want to be kind of quiet. This is actually a very cool place because normally monasteries don't just allow people to come in and walk around and take photos. They're extremely cool here. It's always very respectful, very quiet. Try not to raise your voice too much or yell or anything. This is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, Buddhist monastery in all of Hong Kong. So it has a special historical significance in terms of Buddhism in this area here. Back in 1973, all of Thun Moon here was like country, there, was, there were no buildings, it wasn't like this here. And if you remember the movie Enter the Dragon, the actor who plays the abbot, Roy Chow, he was also an amateur pilot and he saw this monastery from the sky. And while they were shooting Enter the Dragon, they wanted to have one more scene to kind of establish Lee's character. And they were wondering where could they do this and Roy Chow said, well, you know, while I was flying my plane, I saw this really cool monastery up there in Thun Moon. Someone was eating some long an in this area. There's some seeds on the ground. Yeah, there's another long an tree over here. That's really cool. So this is the area where Bruce Lee teaches Lao how to have emotional content. Don't think, feel. <laughs> it is like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you'll miss all that heavenly glory. Cool old ruined wall over there with a bunch of plants growing around it and bamboo growing around it. Monastery visit was great. Thankfully the hike was not that bad. We all took our nice kicking photos. Now time for lunch 
and a nice break. Hey, what about lace? Do you think you can pick these fruits? Maybe we can use the stick to knock them in. Uh, see if you can just knock them off or something. Okay. Oh, wait, ready? Wait, wait. Oh, that's precision. Oh, it's rolling. Yeah, see, see, it's oh like a Oh my leaching. god. So you pop that out and there's a pit, but you just put it right in your mouth. It was good. Wow. I've never had it from a tree before. Yeah, it was from the tree. Wow. It's actually really tasty. I'm gonna just do the thing. Oh, you're a pro at that. <laughs> it tastes different than the ones we get in New York. It's shady. That's it, crack it open. That's right, that's right. Go on, crack it. Go on, oh yeah. That's it, now suck it out. Go on. <laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's oh, like yeah. less sweet and earthier. Yeah, tastes like sweet, doesn't it? You like that taste in your mouth right now. Mikey, actually... I need to put this in a family-friendly channel. It's less sweet than the ones I've usually had, but it's, it is more earthy, like you said. I cannot wait to drink 50 of those iced lemon teas later. I want to just bathe in that lemon tea. It's really cool being in a tropical area because even when you're in the midst of civilization, there's so much interesting nature around because the climate is so different and so lush. Right now we are heading back to the MTR, but going to a mall called V City. Sounds fun. Yes, and can't wait to get some food in my system. Yes. I'm gonna drink like 10 iced teas. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna drink uh, some Ooh, that was Cardi sweat. Chicken. The good news is that my hiking boots definitely served me well. I think they will be good to go for the mountains in Japan. Toasty George. Oh my god, I'm dying. How many lemon iced teas are you gonna drink? Yeah, certain parts of this area really feel like Japan to me. I like it. I'm not sure what the flavors are, but it's super interesting. I think there's lotus seed in there. But there there's like a sweetness that's like really unique. There's like an earthy, subtle sweetness to it. It tastes like this uh, dessert soup I've had called Baimur, which is like white wood ear fungus. Oh, I love that. Have you, you had that? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and they put the seed. Oh, Doesn't yeah. it taste like that? Uh, that earthy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I downed that whole drink in like 10 seconds just now. I'd probably drink 10 more if I had them. Yeah. Yeah, the AC is such a godsend right now. It's so nice. <laughs> we are disgusting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everything is just soaked and grimy. <laughs> there was a spot that looked good, but it probably can't accommodate us. So we're going to check one floor down. It's funny, I've been talking to some people in Mandarin, and this is the first time I've been in China or Hong Kong or whatever where people were actually like, oh, your Mandarin's very good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's because it's because they the Mandarin is not. <laughs> but finally, I feel validated. <laughs> you hear Mandarin is good amongst non-Mandarin speakers. Right, right. It's the only time. Okay. All right. After looking around, we're just gonna go to this restaurant that was right across the street from the mall. is a bit wanting in here. Yes. <laughs> uh, we can have a drink. Do you guys want lemon tea? I see it. I'm getting two for myself. Okay. Oh, thank you. Alright, lemon tea time. So I ordered two lemon iced teas for myself and they accidentally gave it to George and then they just took it from him and gave it back to me. Hey, hey sorry grumpy, George. Grumpiness. <laughs> Definite kick to it. Woo. White, like a white vinegar with garlic and some kind of very hot pepper. It's good. That's different. Vinegar, vinegar. It's or not vinegar. It's um, it's like clove in it. It's really interesting. It's really good. Ooh, that does taste like medicine. Yeah.
Alright, now that I'm not around any important grandmasters or anything, I can actually try this food without worrying about being obnoxious. Uh, Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> so this so is disrespectful. <laughs> this is beef tendon, which is one of my favorite things growing up. It's super tender. It just like melts in your mouth like butter. And then we got beef tripe here. Nice and chewy, but not too tough. Beef brisket with this big piece of fat on it. Fat just melts in your mouth and the meat falls apart. It's so good. Still good? <laughs> Whatever it is that I ordered or showed up on my plate, it's pretty solid. Well, that was the most orderly and organized service I've ever had. The yes. food was mad, but the service was <laughs> yeah. <Fire>. so clean. <laughs> the opposite is true. Back to the hotel. We are back at the hotel. I've got about two hours of a break. Time to shower and uh, just lie around, drink water. I'm also very much looking forward to washing all of this scum off of my body with my power washer of a shower head. Oh, by the way, I need to mention this. The bowl of noodles and two iced teas that I had for lunch came out to $9.82 in US dollars. That is some incredible value. The shower felt great. I'm looking forward to tonight. I did not get a chance to nap, so after the evening tour, I think I'm just gonna force myself to go to bed, but but I'm also easily manipulated by handsome British men named Mikey. All right, it is 5.45, time to head back down and meet up with the rest of the group. It's definitely cooled down a lot, but it is pretty humid out here and pretty sticky, so I was feeling nice and fresh, but I think that's only gonna last like one minute while I'm out here. Even though we're going up to the peak, which I believe is Victoria Peak, I think we're just taking transit and buses up there, so don't think we have to hike, but I'm not sure. Kind of funny. When I first arrived in Hong Kong, I was like a fish out of water, or maybe a land creature in water, because of how humid it was. But the point is, I did not know what the hell I was doing. But even after a few days, you kind of get used to your routine, at least. It's a good feeling to start getting comfortable in a completely foreign place. I've also really appreciated that some people speak Mandarin. It's been nice to be able to at least have that to communicate with people on some level. But also, lots of people here speak English anyway. Nice shirt. So we're going across the bay to the island, and I believe we are taking a ferry. I'm already sweating like a pig. This shirt is going to be see-through by the end of the day. I was worried I wouldn't have enough funds, but it's only like two Hong Kong dollars, which is like nothing. He's got coffee on his shirt already, and I'm just, I have the Niagara Falls. Yeah, this is not perspiration, this is precipitation <laughs> at this point. From the body. Yeah. <laughs> a little onigiri action from 7-Eleven. It was actually from an onigiri place. Oh, fancy you. It was quite tasty. I've not tasted Japan in Hong Kong, even though we're going into Japan next week. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you at the Muscle Girl Bar. Oh, yes you will. <laughs> All right, so now we are just waiting for the ferry, and uh, our assignment is to make sure the Grandmaster has a seat on the boat. And if we've got to crack someone in the ribs to get one. Oh yeah, that's nailed on. We're yeah. totally doing that. <laughs> Brendan specifically. Someone's got to do it, I mean. You don't really have to walk. The crowd just pushes you. It's like the current in a lazy river. Oh, this is a wobbly boat. This is pretty cool though. Okay, two thoughts. One, that was really efficient. I feel like as soon as we got on, the boat just started moving maybe five minutes later. The other thought, I don't know how obvious it is on camera, but it's quite a bit wobbly, although it's actually not that bad now that we're moving.
short boat ride. Good times though. Could you be a man of the sea? No. You don't have the, the sea man in you? <laughs> I do not. So the original plan was to take a bus up to the top of the peak, but now we're all She's just going to split into groups of four and take taxi cabs. How do you say our taxi cab is the coolest? Taxi drivers sind here the absolute highlight and total toll. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Excited to see the peak. Me too. How are you doing up there? <sighs> Very excited too. I'm appreciate to be here and it's gonna be better and better. We are just beginning to wind up a large, windy, hilly road. It will take us to Victoria Peak at the end. Wait, that's your name, right, Victoria? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my peak. <laughs> <laughs> These feel like very, well, relatively sharp turns. I don't think I would trust myself driving on this. Yeah, the lanes are also very narrow, so the cars to our right are just passing super close by. Right now we are rolling out. Don't think we have to get on any other vehicles. I think we're just at the peak at this point. Also, the air up here is much cooler, a bit less humid. Oh man, this is beautiful. If you want to spend money to see the view, you basically go up into the observatory. But if you don't want to spend money to see the view, you just walk down on that side a little bit and you basically get the same view. All right, so enjoy it, guys. Thank Have fun. You. This is a beautiful Thank night, okay? All right, guys. Have a good one. Van Damme shot an, an iconic scene here where he's doing the splits. That scene is uh, one of the most iconic scenes from Bloodsport. I think I will opt to see the view from the Van Damme ledge rather than uh, paying to go up to the observation tower. I would have worn the Van Damme pants, but it's way too hot for pants. See that signage right there? This is actually the spot where he did a split, but now it's kind of in the way. Ah, the yeah. sign is on now, so no one can do it. <laughs> I can do the splits. We could cheat it. Or I would absolutely do the splits here, but yeah, one day maybe I'll yeah, get that. One day we'd we'll make it happen. Yeah. Uh, the view is pretty incredible and these clouds right now they're being illuminated by the city but you can tell they're these thick thunder clouds there's even a little bit of lightning past these hills and then on the horizon you can see where the distant hills kind of separate and fade into the clouds this is just an unbelievable view Did uh, the splits feel? It feels like old. <laughs> it feels old. It feels like great. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is Bruno, aka. Yeah, Bruce Willow. I'm a stuntman and a personal trainer. I do tutorials on uh, anything martial arts related, but mostly fitness, strength and conditioning, and sketches and martial arts movies, anything in between. So, Bruce Willow, yeah. Now 
now we are going to get food up here. In the plans, I think we're going to go to Jordan and uh, just get food in that area, place near our hotel. The food will be cheaper, probably better there. New, new plan, we're going to grab a drink here and then ditch out and eat somewhere else. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what it is and you have to figure out. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Every drink that's in the drink. It's not bad. Yeah. No, no, you send me a screenshot. It honestly tastes like I'm drinking soda, but I like that. I figured out what my sophisticated cocktail tastes like. Sprite. Sprite and Smarties. <laughs> Traditional Hong Kong food, yeah? Whoa. Traditional Hong Kong food, yeah. It's spicy. All right, that was a nice, chill little visit to the peak. Now we are going to look for some Peking duck. I wonder what the Peking duck is like here. We're about to find out, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it must Yay. be a different bus. Yeah, I think there was only standing room, and that's why the whole line is oh. not getting on. Oh. Your four Mandarin words work for it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Well, the funny thing is, I think he was still speaking Cantonese. <laughs> <laughs> I think what tipped it off was one of the women said stand in English, and I. <laughs> <laughs> So we got off at the wrong bus stop, so now it's a nine minute walk to the train station. We just passed by a couple subway entrances and I don't know where... Mikey! Where's Mikey taking us? <laughs> where are we actually going? Oh, we're eating here first. Yeah, yeah. Did not hear that change in the plan update. I guess we're eating here before taking the MTR back to the hotel. Now, wait, till 11? It's 10.28 right now. Swing by and ask. I feel like yes. duck is like... Yeah. The place closes in 30 minutes and we're trying uh, to get a Peking duck, so I feel like it's uh, not going to happen. It's probably not going to happen. Yeah. It's probably not going to happen. This place is so close to shutting down that the escalators just stopped right after we took them up. Yeah, I think we're just going to go back to Jordan and get some cheap, tasty food there. Tomorrow might be a good day for a Peking duck because we have a lot of free time and that gives the restaurant time to make it or whatever. Somehow we still managed to do exhausting nighttime activities without going out. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get, uh, it's not even worth it if we're not wasted. <laughs> Alright, we made our way from the Jordan MTR station that we usually meet up at to some mall thing. This dim sum place actually has a lot of signs with like thousand dollar stuff, which that's like what, a hundred something US dollars? Yeah, it's like in the hundreds or, or approaching the hundreds, so we're gonna go somewhere else. Okay, on Google Maps, there's a noodle place open until 12.30 a.m., uh, one block from here. There's also some other stuff around. Bunch of different options, but uh, let's let's check out this place. Nanlong restaurant. Yeah. Oh, close? Okay. Okay, we finally found a dumpling place that is open and also sit down, because the noodle place wasn't, and the American diner place was closing. Fill out your own order, and they have drawers with chopsticks and stuff. I feel like every restaurant should be like that. Soy drink is the best. Yeah, I love it. The jury remains very much out. It's not bad. Yeah. Like it's definitely. I see what you're saying. How it's not soy milk. Yeah. I would actually have probably eaten a lot more cereal if I had that instead of milk. <laughs> Things I don't. Do is milk or corn. Mm. Oh, you're not a Midwesterner. No. Okay. That makes sense. Right. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. it has that like silken tofu so, kind of like with the syrup. Uh, you know, when oh, I was tahu? Korea, I used to what? Tahu? 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 It's that like breakfast silken um, yeah. tofu that you pour yeah, like you the brown yeah, yeah, yeah. dessert no, syrup that's over. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, food was good, the day is done, it's time to go to sleep. Hey, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and check out some more Hong Kong vlogs right here. Once again, thank you so much.